today. Today we're going to do lesson plan 6, term 2, grade 6. And our topic is 3D optics, flat or curved surfaces. Um, we also, there's also a link to DBE worksheet number 34. Uh, so could we going to show you. Then we're going to go back. This is your link to the caps. Um, then with the resources and the dictionary, I want you to pause. Um, the very, very important um, part of this when we work with three-dimensional objects is that we work with real-life objects. Um, if you don't have these mathematical resources at home, um, please make use of all the things in your surrounding that you have. They, we have some boxes. Um, we have some balls. Um, if you need some pyramids, um, you can always go and Google and look for templates for pyramids and so on, or you can contact us at SA Teacher. Um, then the dictionary part is for you as parent or teacher to get some background knowledge. Um, and then we're going to move on to the mental math. So again, children going to answer it orally or going to write down the answers and you're going to pause. Welcome back. So we're going to reveal then the answers. So um, and then you can pause and you can mark it. So today's lesson is going to be on flat and curved surfaces. So here again is um, we have some real life examples. If you don't have these, then look at the pictures. But it's very important that children feel, touch these objects to have a better understanding. So um, the surfaces um, are the faces of a 3D object. So those flat or rounded sides. The base is then the first the surface that a 3D object stands on. So now you can pause and you can ask the child to show you by using real life object what are the surfaces and what are the base of the objects. Let's then look at the concept development. This is, again, practical examples. Sphere, um, maybe you have a ball at home. Um, maybe somewhere you have some round object. So they can touch it, they can feel it, and they can say, see then it's got a round surface. Then when we have a cone, this you can easily just fold um, by using a piece of paper. Um, and then you will notice that it's got a round and flat surface. So this is around here will be the round surface and this will be the flat surface and it stands on this flat surface called the base. Then we're going to look at cylinders. Now in grade four they test it to see if a cylinder can roll or slide. It can do both. So because it can roll, it's got a round surface. So you have the round surface here. Here you can use a variety of containers that you have at home. Um, if you use empty tins, just make sure the sharp edges aren't so sharp anymore or they're not dangerous. So because, again, repeating that it, because it rolls, it's got round surfaces. And then because it can slide, it's got flat surfaces. Then we're going to look at rectangular prisms. Um, these you can use a variety of boxes that you have at home, small boxes, um, lunch boxes, and we're going to see that they have flat surfaces. Then a cube um, that's very important um, in late uh, understanding of how 3D optics fits into each other or how they link to each other. So a cube has a flat surface. Again, if you don't have a cube at home, you make one from paper, you fold it, and then you ask the child to explore the flat surfaces. Then we go to come to the pyramid. So a pyramid's got a base. This is a triangular pyramid. It's got a base at the bottom, and it goes then up into a sharp point. But it's still all got flat surfaces. So I want you to pause here. Then I want you to match or ask your child to match the real life object with these drawings. Because a lot of times it's easy for them to see the surfaces 
having the real object. But when it comes to a test or exam, they struggle to identify these pictures because they never made a link between these two. So what I want you to do then, sorry, I want you to pause here and do the activity. Then we're going to go to the worksheet. You're going to complete, they're going to complete the worksheet. If they struggle with it, please take out a real life object to support them. And then lastly, we're going to do the problem solving. Um, and then there is a bit on remediation where you can get some support for better understanding. And then the consolidation, all the, if it's all yeses, you carry on with the next lesson. If you've got no's, you're going to revisit, revise or contact us at SA Teacher. Mm -hmm.